fresh artichokes. Artichoke omelet. Two tablespoons butter, three cooked artichoke hearts? They have hearts? Diced. Equal amount of diced cooked mushrooms. Two tablespoons tomato sauce, salt and pepper, dash of cayenne. Half garlic clove, eight eggs. Them chickens are busy. One small can flat anchovy fillets. Yeah. I'm definitely cooking that for dinner tonight. Oh, oh, hey guys. Didn't see you guys there. Where'd you, where'd you all come from? I'm just uh, trying to figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. Y'all like artichokes? No, 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 I'm really not gonna cook anything out of this book. We're gonna shoot these. I got nine of these books, and they, they got hard covers. What, they got like 168 pages. Should be pretty thick, might stop some calibers. When, when the heck were these things published? 1966, okay? I'm older than they are. Heck yeah, I'm a lot older. Not really, but it, it, that's not gonna stop me from shooting them. Now my cookbook's muddy. How am I ever gonna get my recipes? Dang it. So, like I mentioned a minute ago, we got nine of these books. That's pretty thick right there. We'll see what kind of calibers that can stop. Got them duct taped together. That's totally gonna hold together. Okay, got them propped up on the old septic pump there. If y'all haven't seen that video, you better go watch it. It's pretty cool. All right, 22 long rifle. Can it defeat the books? There's only one way to find out. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, here's our look at what we did. There's our hit right down there at the 22. How far did we go in though? Oh, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Uh, hang on, I'm sick. Let me get piece of equipment up in here. All right, all right, what do we do? Hey, look at that, we cleared the first one. How about that? There's our hole right, where is it? Oh, it's behind the duct tape, no wonder, haha. <laughs> there it is, right in the picture of that little pan right there. Okay, look at this. Hard to, yeah, I don't want to set my knife down in the mud, it's just, so muddy in Missouri. I mean, that's why they call it misery. Uh, it's hard to hard to see, but right here, there is a little bit of a bulge right there. Let's open this up. Where's the bullet? Where's the bullet? Okay, it did not go in quite that far. It just punched through. We're getting close. These pages are getting stuck together. Oh, it just punched it really hard. It didn't actually... Where? There it is. There's the bullet right there, all smashed up. So we made it um, about halfway through book number two. All right, let's set these back up here. I'm not gonna bother to tape them back together. We'll have to take it off again. Get that out of here, part of the old septic pump. There. All right, so 22 long rifle made it through book number one, stopped about halfway through book number two. Okay, time for a little bit of nine millimeter. I know a nine millimeter is like one of the most common rounds ever, but can we just all agree that it's awesome? Okay, it is really hard to see our hits when we got these kind of crazy uh, designs on the covers of these books. But our 9mm hit right down here, uh, just above our second 22, uh, which is right there. The one we looked at the penetration earlier was right over here. Again, 9mm is right there. Of course, we made it through book number one. 
There's where it entered book number two. We came out of book number two and went into book number three. Okay, we have a whole another hole here, so we made it through book number three and punched into book number four. Look, okay, we went through number, wait, no. Wait, I can't, is the bullet in there or is that just mashed paper? Okay, that's just smashed paper. I thought it was a bullet, but... Okay, we went into book, what, number five? Aha, that's where we stopped. It's a little warm right there. Oh, there's the bullet right there. Oh, it could not... <laughs> there it is, right there. Could not have been any closer to coming through book number five. So, it stopped literally on the back cover of book number five. Wow, that was so close. So, again, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so nine millimeter, made it through four, barely stopped on number five. Pretty dang cool. Okay, time for some shotgun in. So first, we're gonna send a round of number eight birdshot at that stack of books. That's gonna be followed up with a one ounce high brass slug. Let's see what happens. Great, now the target's over. We're going to have to go reset that. So I would have taken you guys down there to have a look at that with me, but all that bird shot stopped in the first book. Not a whole lot to see, so we'll go ahead and take a look at it after we do our one ounce high brass slug. I love slugs. Yeah, so book number one ain't looking so good right now. It's just covered in birdshot, all of which, like I said, stopped in the first book. Hey, look, we got a wad right here. That's cool. But yeah, our birdshot, oh, it like stuck all the pages together. Yeah, you can see right here, it, most of them stopped near the back cover and just shredded some paper. Man, look at the size of that hole from that slug. Went in right there. So, of course, went through book number one, two, three. <laughs> it's shredding paper as it's slowing down. Here's number four. Oh, hey, I think that's it right there, number five. Yeah, it's a number five. All right, peel back. Ah, there it is. Look at that thing. Look how smashed up that is. Check it out. All right, so, and we put a nice big dent in number six there. So let's just make sure we have an accurate count. So one. Two, three, four, and five. Just like nine millimeter. One through four stopped in number five near the back cover. Do I love slugs out of 12 gauge or big rifle calibers like 308 more? I have no idea. I, I honestly have no idea. I love them both so much. Let's shoot some 308 at them books. I wonder if we can make it through. There's only one way to know. Okay. Let's make some noise, shall we? Boom! 308. It's so loud. I love it. First look at our stack of books. So number one just fell over. Where did we go in? I think right there. That looks like a 308. Of course we went through 
Number one. Oh yeah, right there. Number two, hey look. We are tumbling. That bowl is sideways right there. It's tumbling already, number two. Number three, right there. Came out right here. Number four, there it is, straight up sideways. Look at that big hole it made. Okay, it's starting to merge a little bit with some of the slug destruction. What are we in? I lost count. I was just looking at how big those holes were. One, two, three, four. Here's number five, where everything thus far has been stopped, except the 308. Got a hole right there. Here's number six. Came out. Seven. Going sideways. Came out at number seven. You? Are we going to beat this target? There's number eight. Number nine. It's getting slow. Look how big this hole is. It's starting to push through it instead of penetrate. We made it through. There's a hole with no bullet. And that bullet ended up somewhere in our old septic pump. Yes, we beat the target. So I don't know if I mentioned this yet or not, but it's cold and muddy out here. It snows and then it melts and then it snows again. And it's cold and muddy out here. And that got me thinking about how much I want summer to come back so that it'll be warm again. And thinking about summer got me thinking about Independence Day. Because that's our holiday, right? You know, down with the British, Independence. That got me thinking about Independence Day festivities, namely fireworks. Fireworks displays got me thinking about what happens at the end of those fireworks displays. Grand finale, right? Where there's like tons of fireworks, and everything's going crazy. That's what this video needs. A grand finale. We got three rounds birdshot followed up by two slugs, we're going to see if we can destroy those books once and for all. Now that, people, is what I'm talking about. Thanks so much, guys, for watching this episode of Show Me Firearms, on which we shot old 1960s-era cookbooks. So, as we saw, those cookbooks were able to stop everything I could throw at it, except the 308. 308 doesn't stop for much, especially not cookbooks. But it was pretty cool to see uh, how much 9mm and 22 and 12 gauge slugs could penetrate. But 308 beat them all. Not surprising because it is one heck of a rifle round. So thanks again for watching guys. Sure appreciate it. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. See what we're doing over there. And until then, show me them firearms.